What's going on guys? Raven here, back for another episode in Victoria 2! Heart of Darkness Stroke Project Mod with two Sicilies, yay! Finally, we get to play as a different nation than the failed Colombia campaign. And, um... Oh, I didn't mean to kick ahead on the speed. I turned on the music a little bit because in the last episode it seemed a little bit too high. So hopefully you're still around after not being able to hear me in the last part. But, um... In the last episode, we, you know, we did this. There's a beautiful little purple blob. Not there. Not this nation. This nation. This is us. This is nice. So, we need to get our transports back. Our real Marina delle Due Sicily. <laughs> That's a cool name. We need to get these guys back. So, let's send them back over because we're probably not going to be able to get access with Benin. Well, negative relations. I don't want to re waste relations uh, on them. Waste diplomatic points just to get access for a little bit. So we're going to get our relations up with Austria and send them over. Let's, let's leave five boats. Is that five? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I had to count there to make sure. But we're making a lot of money now. So I think we want to go for the luxury furniture factories. We're going to need a furniture factory itself as well. I don't think we have any wood. We need a sawmill to make the wood, to make the furniture, to make the luxury furniture. Hopefully somebody has some furniture factories that we can use. I'm not actually sure. They might not they might not be profitable yet. All right, Austria increase relations. There we go. Now we can declare war. These ships are not there yet though. So you have no alliances. That's perfect. Let's go to Wari and declare war which we cannot do because we actually don't have the diplomatic points huh we need to wait till next month okay now we can declare war for Aro Benin and um, hopefully this will be a quick war three defense wow it's pretty good wish it was attack but that's okay so they're going to head into Wari immediately. And uh, research points wise, we are still getting them, as we should be. Hopefully we don't stagnate on that. I think I did start it in February of 1839, so you have a full year before your research points stop uh, going up. A little bit more prestige, that's nice. Rank 10 now in prestige. And we're going to go take out this army. Hopefully. Oh, they already accept peace. Okay, that's fine. So now we have more tropical wood. Yes. Perfect. Royal Order of Francis I. Founded on the 28th of September 1829, the Royal Order of Francis I was an order of merit in the Kingdom of Two Sicilies. Awarded for civil as well as military merit by awarding the order to a well-deserving dignitary, we will be perceived as the righteous and benevolent monarchy that we naturally are. 500 prestige? Nope. <laughs> okay, I read that wrong. 500 research points, 2.3 prestige. That's nice. I'll take that. We're ranked 9 in prestige now. So, who is ahead of us? Belgium with a score of 50. Uh, where do we see our own... Oh, just click this. 48. We're two points behind. I could have done the math. 28 and 19 is 48, but... Uh, I decided against that because it wouldn't be the American way. Let's start re researching idealism. Get that going. And uh, intellectuals are still... being encouraged mainly in Naples because Naples is going to be our main uh, industrial base because it's a huge 
it's such a huge uh, state. There's 900,000 people here. So, what is that? Albanian? 4% Albanian and Cantanzaro. 4% Albanian and Regio de Calabria. De Calabria. Huh. I didn't know there were Albanians in southern Italy. Interesting. I wonder what that's about. Look at Corfu over here. Ionian Islands. <laughs> but we haven't had any bad uh, population events, so we've actually gotten super lucky in that aspect. And uh, now we're actually going to have to do waiting around because there's really nothing we can we can do without going over the infamy limit. You never want to risk going over the infamy limit if you're not prepared to steamroll the world as like Germany or whatever. Brazil goes bankrupt. Oh, they're at war with Colombia. Nice. Keep it going, Colombia. Keep it going. Take this land. Take the Amazon. What is this war over? War of the Pacific. Chile acquires some Peruvian land, Panama gets freed, and Argentina is put... Oh no, Peru is cut down to size. Well, it looks like they lost that, because America joined in. Newspaper, the Oriental Crisis. Egypt is at war now. It would be cool to see Egypt win. You never do see them win. Understandably so, I mean... That makes sense. 13 brigades on the Ottoman side. 36 on Egypt's side. Well, if no great power gets involved, then... Then they might be able to win, actually. That would be crazy. The problem is, Egypt is going to suffer so much attrition that... You can't really expect them to. Okay, factory-wise, I think we can we can make the factory that everybody wants to see. The luxury furniture factory in action. Uh, as long as we get machine parts, which we actually are not going to get any of, so that's a little unfortunate. Hopefully, um, somebody starts making some, I guess. Alright, let's stop funding our troops as much as we have been. We're spending on Clipper Convoys. Are we making them right now? No. Why are we spending money? Oh, that's the that's everything. Duh. Oh, we are getting machine parts now. Keep it up. No, we're not, actually. That's a lie. I thought we were. I wonder if we have wood. I don't think we have wood anywhere. None of these... Southern Italy is not very forested, is it? We have sulfur, but I don't think anything that takes sulfur is going to be very profitable. So Idealism is going to finish in October of 1841. We're still encouraging intellectuals. They're not at 2% just yet. And, uh, and like our total intellectual percentage of our population. So we want to get that up. And this army is... They don't have any artillery. Can't build any over in Africa, but... We'll build some artillery over here because we don't... We only have two. And we have two horse units for some reason. Which I'm actually going to get rid of. I don't want two horse units. I want uh, more, more artillery tank, right? No, we have five already. I don't know what I want. Just build artillery. It's fine. Everything's fine. We are still rank nine in, uh, in the world. Belgium is being a bit annoying. Chartist rallies. Ugh. Come on, guys. Cut this out. Cut this liberalism out. <laughs> definitely, we definitely do not want to be liberal as, uh, as a European nation. There's almost no reason to to be liberal. Unless you just don't feel, unless you're like 
Germany that also owns France, and you don't want to worry about expanding factories. Then you can just let your capitalists do everything for you. Because, I mean, eventually, they're going to figure out what needs, what factory needs to be built. So, they just need a little bit of time. Maybe more time than the game has. Maybe it might take like 200 years for them to figure out that you shouldn't build fuel refineries in Switzerland. But, that's okay. It's a learning process. I really wish the capitalists were, were smarter. They really are stupid. It seems like they never even take into account what your nation has, what could be profitable. You know, they just they just don't care. All right, so we're building our artillery, and we are making quite a bit of money. The luxury furniture factory is building. We're about to get idealism. After that, we're going to get medicine because medicine is very important. Our uh, literacy rate is ridiculously low. So that actually really sucks. 11%. I didn't even really take into account that we started with such low literacy rate. Coronation of Queen Victoria, that happened a bit late. I think that's supposed to happen in... Well, it says the date right here, 1838. Three and a half years later, we're rank 8. So hopefully we actually become a great power. And then we can start trying to sphere... The papacy. Uh, all these other Italian nations. Let's, uh, let's see. You don't want an alliance... Austria, Prussia, we might want to ally you just because you seem, you're probably going to get strong because Germany always gets strong. Germany's strong. So, yeah, let's keep uh, increasing relations all these guys. Try to keep uh, our diplomatic points at a relatively consistent rate, and we're no longer rank 8th. That sucks. But we're going to get a bunch of craftsmen moving into Campania to work in this beautiful, beautiful factory. Hopefully it makes money. We don't have tropical wood, we don't have furniture. We could make a furniture factory, and I think, um, I think we will. And then we could also make something in Puglia. I think we're going to make a liquor factory because liquor is pretty good. Sulfur, I guess we can make a fertilizer factory. It's very expensive, unfortunately. Fertilizer is probably okay. We'll just get factories everywhere and uh, subsidize them if they're not profitable. Um, hopefully the fertilizer factory is profitable. We might not even get machine parts for quite a while to finish these factories. Like this liquor factory is getting none. Yeah. Machine parts are hard to come by in the beginning of the game. I think, uh, I think Britain might start with one. So they're like the only ones producing machine parts and capitalists just don't want to build them, artisans don't want to build them, even though they seem to be pretty profitable. Five prestige. Yeah, we're gonna have to take that. We're gonna have to take that five prestige. Because we want to stay rank eight long enough. Belgium is actually rank 11 now. It might be... The Netherlands, yeah, they're ranked 9, so we're ahead of them, though, by 9 points, so we shouldn't really fall behind. And once th once this factory finishes, we're going to get quite a bit of uh, craftsmen just immediately heading into the luxury furniture factory, and the other craftsmen are probably going to migrate 
into Campania. Infamy wise, we're at 1775. We might want to start thinking about what nation we want to go attack next. Perhaps we will take over Aro, because they are quite big. They don't have any good RGOs, but they do have um, a good amount of population. Whereas Akure has tropical wood, which of course is very profitable. 57,000 people is making 54 pounds a day, and 190,000 is making 31. So, um, Aro would actually probably be more profitable than uh, Benin, I would assume. Just because of the amount of people that, it, that are there. 760,000, and over here there are 360,000, so even with the tropical wood, this would probably be better. So intellectuals are still going up. I don't want to encourage... Well, no, nah, we'll just uh, keep encouraging intellectuals in, in, uh, in these lands. And we're going to go uh, all the way to 4%, I think would be fine. Tariffs-wise, we're going to go down to 20. Because we want these factories to be profitable, since they're going to have to import some stuff. But also, we might have had to pay more because we were applying tariffs to all the stuff we were getting. Uh, we're going to let the militancy go down again, lose 30,000 people. The click of a button. Colonial unrest. And we're not going to lose 15 prestige, so we're going to have to get some more militancy in these provinces. Can we... we cannot build any more soldiers in these African areas. But we should be able to handle a rebellion over here. Great power. Okay, so we are great power now. Um, the problem with forming Italy is we we need um, nationalism and imperialism. I would assume to click these buttons. Yeah. So what do we get for this? Catholic. Hmm. Where do we want to start with our sphere? Do we want to start with the Papal State? All these little tiny insignificant places as well. Start trying to sphere them and, and whatnot. It's going to take a while. Austria is probably going to fight us tooth and nail. Uh, to keep their spheres. Austria, do you want an alliance? No. Who are you allied to? Bavaria? Is that a great power right now? No. Spain. Oh, Spain's a great power right now. Well, normally they fall out of great power status. So, I think we will start trying to sphere the Papal State, but I don't really have hope that we will be able to, to get them from France, although we do have a we do have a a border with them, which France does not, which makes us get more influence points. Uh, the reason why I'm hesitant is because we could go for other nations that would be more beneficial to our uh, factories and whatnot, like Brazil. Who we will increase relations with a bit. Austria will get you up to 180. And let's keep going. So medicine's about to finish. And after medicine, uh, I think we're going to go for market structure, get some more diplomatic influence, probably go to business regulations and try to get influence as fast as possible so we can start uh, sphering these nations. So this factory is profitable right now. 
Not very profitable, but it is profitable. Once we get the furniture factory, it should be pretty good. I would hope. It's making a, a good amount of... Now it's at full output. Hmm. But we don't, we don't even have any industrial tech, so that just goes to show you how important it is. Unfortunately, we oh, we got pop growth immediately. That's nice. Poor Strata, get angry. Let's give him some consciousness. Yeah, I wish we had ideological thought from the start. I think maybe a few nations start. No, maybe none actually I think Britain has the best starting point technology wise makes sense of course I mean they do start with like 160 industrial score which is insane if you think about it but that's how industrialized they were at this time okay Pope we can get the cordial and um, the French are already working on uh, the Pope. We want to at least get to friendly before they ban us from their embassy, which is inevitably, inevitably going to happen. Prussia will try to work a alliance with you, but nobody wants to ally us right now. Once Spain drops from great power status, then we probably will get an alliance. But uh, that might take a few years because Netherlands and Belgium didn't really stay uh, in a great power way. Oh man, the liberalism, it's happening. We're going to start um, suffering a lot of militancy and liberals are going to get very angry. I think uh, conservative, no conservative is still pretty bad. The nice thing is we can choose whatever um, upper house we want, uh, whatever party we want. And conservatism has interventionism as their uh, economic policy, which is not good for us. So we were discredited in the papacy as expected. And um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get any spear spears? Spears with these guys. They did invest in, uh, in here. They built a factory. Not a good factory. We'll get you a liqueur factory in Lazio. And that should be profitable. We can invest in uh, Sardinia Piedmont as well, who also has a luxury furniture factory. That's a no-no. I think we can get, yeah, we'll get them a winery. Winery in uh, Piedmont. So, Infamy wise, we are at 15. What happened to my cursor? I don't actually know. I think it should fix itself in a second. I'm just looking around. Uh, there's not really anybody we can go for. Can we still justify versus you? Yeah, we could walk through this colonial land and justify our war versus uh, some of these nations. But, yeah, there's not really anything good up here. Not really. Madagascar, I think France like always joins if you try to go to war with Madagascar. There's some tropical wood over here. But there's two different states in Madagascar. Persia, we're gonna want to sphere Persia, I think. Vietnam. Korea would be pretty good. Alright, let's um let's keep going. So they didn't ban us. No, they did ban us. Okay. So let's go into Tuscany. 
and hopefully they won't uh, meddle with us in Tuscany. Prussia we will increase relations with. Get them going. Hopefully they break their alliance with the British, but they probably won't. Uh, We won't make them too angry. So, let's see. Luxury Furniture Factory is okay, I guess. No, it's doing really good, actually. It's actually, no, it's actually doing really, really good. Profit margins like that are really good at a time when we don't have, uh, like, hardly any industrial tech. We're not really going to get any for a while. We don't even have railroads. Railroads. So... Sicily is not revolted yet. Don't know what that's about. Turn this music down a bit. Because it's probably too loud. Moralism, sure. Well, I, sh I probably should have checked. Yeah, I thought we were moralism, so... We are, so that's good. Reactionary is fine by me. What is that? Is that river? What happened to the borders over here? They're blue. da ba dee da die That's odd. We are at 1.96% intellectual wise. And, um. Really, we're just. We're just waiting for something good to happen. Tuscany, increase relations with you. Hopefully, the Austrians. No, they, they realize that we are there. Do we have like a, a war Casas Belly? <laughs> Apparently not. I do want to just like puppet Sardinia Piedmont so we don't have to worry about them. They have a troop level 13, 6 out of 30 tech. It's a bit scary. They're focusing on military a lot. I don't want them to become uh, strong. Strong. Ottomans. You wouldn't want an alliance. UK, we will increase relations with you. And we are ranked fifth in industry. The furniture factory is finished. Two people are working in it. But that should make our uh, luxury furniture factory more profitable which it is, so that's good. It'll be interesting to see if this furniture factory becomes profitable. I don't know if it will. Okay, Tuscany. We are friendly with them. That's better than, than nothing. Luca is going to be annoying. Lucha, whatever they're called. All these little tiny states over here. We will increase relations with them. And, um... Should we go all the way up? If we did, it would take two years. Whereas, posit positivism... Positivism would take one year. And a half, pretty much. I think... I mean, we need more literacy rate, really. That's pretty important. Plurality would be good as well. Let's go for ideological thought. We're going to need that. Oh no, the British, why are you meddling in Brazil? That sucks. I want Brazil for my own. I want that tropical wood. 
to go to me. Well, if Brazilian reactionaries take over, I mean, that would actually be good. So, let's see. Do any of these other places have... Can we, like, invest? Okay, that factory's building. We could build a sawmill over here because there is wood. So let's do that. Get our investment up over here so we can get some more uh, influence points. Intellectual wise, we are getting up there to 4%. Once again, that is the max you can get before it just stops working. So you can't get like 100% intellectual in a province. Prussia, we will increase relation with relations. We're trying to get in bed. Okay, we're gonna expand this factory because it's just so profitable. That factory is not. Furniture factory just isn't profitable even though it's getting all of the wood it needs. Uh, we'll take free prestige, even if it's at the cost of militancy. Hopefully they don't get too angry, even though they are getting really angry. <laughs> Whoops. They're at 4 militancy, 6 militancy, 6 militancy. 7.8 over here. But it doesn't look like they're going to rebel. So, Tuscany. We were banned from the Papal State again. We can get uh, reform. Let's go for social reform desire. Try to get some, some healthcare early on. That would be really nice. Tuscany, Tuscany, Tuscany. Actually at 50 uh, influence with them. Who's this? Luca. Lucha. I don't know how you say that. I think the double C is a cha sound. I could be wrong though. Oh, hey. The Austrians are getting confused with who they should be responding to. Maybe we will go down a bit and see if they keep going and maybe we can steal Tuscany from them. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, Sardinia Piedmont is really scary. I am worried. I'm like pretty sure they're going to get those events no matter what. Even if you sphere them, which is really, really dumb. Uh, even if you sphere these other nations, they still get that event. So it's just really annoying. Um, that aspect of, of spheering. And some events in uh, Victoria 2 are kind of sucky. I don't know if... Colonial places can actually rebel. I mean, it doesn't seem like they can because they're not organizing at all. So we're going to head back. I mean, I know they could probably rebel with like... What do you call it? Like liberals and whatnot. I think. I'm not actually sure on that either. They might actually have to be a state to, to rebel. If that's the case, that would, uh, I mean, we just don't really need them over there, then. We can bring them back. We'll make them get some more consciousness, I guess. We might be able to pass reform with all of this militancy. There is a rebellion looming. Oh, yo, nationalist. Okay. I was wrong. I was wrong. Let's go back. We are ranked 6th. And industrial score. That's awesome.
papal state, uh, if you if you invest in other nations, the industrial score you get stays there forever. So that's important to, to know. So you get to keep that sweet, sweet industrial score. Like if we went to Greece and made a winery, like I just did, that gives us um, 0.8 industrial score. Or we went to Portugal and made, I don't know, paper. Paper? Paper. If we made paper, we would get one prestige. We'd make the militancy go down a little bit. They are pretty angry. Liberalism is taking over the colonies. Oh, this episode's been going on for so long. Okay. Uh, I'm going to end this episode here. We just finished our technology. That's perfect. And um, I'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully we can start getting these nations sphered. And um, we can start trying to form Italy. So I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.